Merge is a Microsoft Word feature that allows you to pull data from a data source and merge them with a Word document. In order to create a Word document in a dynamic way and avoid having to create multiple documents for each record in your data source manually, the most common data source is obviously an Excel spreadsheet. Now let's see how you can use Mail Merge in your documents. Let's start by inspecting our Excel spreadsheet to see which data we are going to use. As you can see here we have four columns, a buyer column with buyer data, a product column with product data, a date column and an employee column. We are going to use these columns to insert data in our Word document automatically. In order to avoid the hassle of having to create multiple documents manually, for each entry in our spreadsheet. Now, let's go back to Word. We will use this document as our starting document. The next step involves selecting our data source. From the Mailings tab, the Start Mail Merge section, click on Select Recipients and choose Use Existing List. Select the Excel file that you would like to use. Specify whether the first row of your spreadsheet contains column headers and click OK. Now let's go back to our Word document and insert the appropriate fields of data from the Excel spreadsheet that we would like to use. By clicking on Insert Merge Field in the right and Insert Field section, you will see all the available fields that you can use in your document. These fields will be used to pull data from the corresponding column in your Excel document. I have already typed the core of our document and now I will insert the appropriate fields. In order to tell Word what type of data from my Excel spreadsheet I want where, from the Insert Merge field in the right and Insert field section, I insert the field at each point in the text that corresponds to the appropriate column in Excel. After inserting the Merge fields where I want them in my document, I am ready to proceed with creating the document I want. I can preview the results for each entry in my Excel spreadsheet by clicking on Preview Results. If I am pleased with the results, I can proceed by clicking on Finish and Merge and selecting Edit Individual Documents or Print Documents. From the Edit Individual Documents section, I can select whether I want to merge all the records in my Excel file, or only a number of them. Once I click on All, you can see that Word has merged all the records in my Excel spreadsheet in a single document creating letters using the appropriate individual information for each record, in our case each client, in Excel.